Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you and tell you how to put together a trombone. This will be an assembly tutorial for absolute beginners, so let's get right into the video. If you want to play the trombone, you have to assemble it first. Now there are essentially three parts to the trombone and it's really, really easy to put together. The first part is basically the bell. So what we have here is essentially the bell. And on the bell, I want you to make note of one small thing. This little spinny piece over here, make sure you remember that that is there, okay? The next part, I'm just gonna place this down very, very carefully right over here, make sure it doesn't fall over. The next part is the slider. This is the slider over here. As you can see, it slides open and closed just like that. Okay, make note of this right here. This is actually a spit valve and you wanna make sure that you place that so that the spit, when you open it up, it can empty out downwards, okay? So make note of that orientation. Also, you'll notice over here, make note that on the slider, there's a part that has threads, okay? Make note because those two pieces that I showed you now are gonna be connected. And then you have a mouthpiece. Make sure that you have a trombone mouthpiece. It's gonna be different from other mouthpieces like a trumpet mouthpiece because a trumpet one will be much smaller, okay? So make sure you have the right mouthpiece. Now, to assemble a trombone, it's really, really easy. I feel like I'm saying it weird, trombone, right? I usually say trombone, but trombone, I don't know. Anyways, to assemble a trombone or trombone, what you wanna do is get those two pieces that I showed you and line them up. So on the slider, you have this piece with the threads. And then on the bell, you have this piece with the spinny piece over here. Take the piece with the threads, okay? And you wanna essentially place it inside of the, the, the hole of the spinny piece, right? Inside of this tube over here. So you're gonna place it inside. You wanna make sure it goes in there nicely, okay? Once it's in there, make sure you're holding this securely and you wanna spin the spinny piece to tighten the two pieces together. This will hold them together. And you don't wanna tighten it super tight because you wanna be able to move this when you need to. So just tighten it pretty tightly so you can actually move it if you need to move it, right? You want it to be tight enough that it's gonna hold it in place, but loose enough that you can move it if you need to move it, okay? That's it, basically. You're basically done. Now what you need to get is the mouthpiece, and there's this hole over here, which is on the other side of the slider piece. So the slider piece here connects to the bell through that uh, thread lock over here, that thread locking mechanism, I don't, whatever you wanna call it over here. That's what connects to the bell. And then there's an opening here, and you get your mouthpiece and you put it in that opening. Now, you don't wanna jam it in there, okay? If you have trouble getting it in there, you can give it a little twist, right? Whenever I put mine in there, it goes in easily as you can see, but to make sure it sort of securely stays in there, I just give it a little twist and a little bit of pressure. There's no threads on it, but by twisting it and giving it a little bit of pressure, you're just kind of nudging it in there ever so slightly. Not a crazy twist and crazy pressure. Like I can still remove it like that, but just put it in there and then just little twist and a little bit of pressure is all that you need to keep it in place. And that's essentially it then you are ready to play your trombone. It's literally that simple. Um, that's basically how to assemble and put together the instrument. And yeah, let's play something. That's it, it's how to put together the instrument. It's that easy. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.